but I ended up putting the two halves together, just cleaning up the, um, uh, the, the sprue and dropped some rubbish into the, uh, into the drag half so I pulled it apart to clean it and I remembered I forgot to put the steel pin in and I nearly forgot to graphite it. Oh, that's nice and slippery. Okay. Put it back on. It's raining on and off at the moment. I don't think I'll get a drying out problem, but um, you never know. We'll go and get the furnace ready. Well, here we have the, um, the five castings <coughs> that, we, that I did a little bit earlier, uh, where we had a, uh, a disaster. The, um, <coughs> excuse me, we had a blowout down the side, a heap of aluminium poured out, and I continued pouring until I had no more, no more um, aluminium left. And um, this is what I've recovered out of it. So there was two compartments in in that pool, in in yeah in that pool. Um, there was one, two, three, and then these. Can you see that? Yep. So these three and these two. Now this this two. Uh, we didn't have a didn't have a blowout, and um, we got two successful um, parts out of this one. A little bit of a uh, shrinkage uh, there, but um, that that doesn't matter. This will nicely clean up, and um, I think it's a half inch uh, hole in the centre of that. But uh, that's that's got to be turned up on the lathe and filed and cleaned up. But um, this is the uh, lead screw support that bolts onto the um, uh, back of the bed and the uh, handle I have yeah, and, and the handle then <coughs> mates mates up with that so 
that one turned out. The uh, the handle casting turned out. Uh, come up beautiful. That'll clean up very nicely. They worked out. Um, but the other three, we had. Um, I knew we were going to have this problem. Where where the um, um, the moulding and uh, the uh, the sand had fallen away and created created this area here. I knew I was going to have that problem. <coughs> the the rest of it is not too bad except for a um, a low spot in this in the centre of the hub, and I need. Hang on. It's on zero. Oh, actually, I might be able to use this. 16 millimeters, but that's that's all right because that's going to go behind. Hmm. I'll cons <coughs> I'll consider this part. See how easy that'll be to clean out. It's not the easiest place to um, um, file out, but. Um, Mm, I'll give that a go because that's that's going to be, that can be turned off that um, raised area there. That actually might clean up. So we might have three. Uh, this one badly. Um, the extra aluminium around this face here, but that would that would turn off okay. But again, we have a uh, a hollow in the back. Um, this is to go on this piece, so can I use it? Um, yeah, I might be able to use it actually. I know, I know my bronze bushings aren't as, uh, as long as the depth of this housing, so I might just hollow that out and um, the bronze bushing would be about three quarters of this depth, so I can actually use that. That that will easily please clean up on the lathe. And uh, this piece, this is the. Oh, I remembered to graphite the shaft. It was uh, it, it didn't fall out. I still had to ha hammer it out, but it came out came out a lot easier than uh, when I did. This one, and I had to bash the living daylights out of it. Um, this, that's the bearing cap. Um, it, it has a, um, a low point here. That's where uh, one of the bolts is going to be. I could uh, countersink that, but um, no, I think I'll just, I'll just do it again. I've got a, a bit off the corner here that for some reason didn't work. The, uh, the rest of it is a good fit, um, has good finish. So this this will easily uh, this will easily cast cast up. I'll just use the uh, small crucible, and um, um, I'll, I'll redo this one because I'm actually I'm actually thinking of because when the when the bush goes in here. There's a fair bit of material going to be uh, lost <coughs> just above the, the bush. So I'm actually thinking of uh, build, building the, the, um, the top of this up, cutting out four locations for the bolts and um, beef, up, beef up this top area. Because um, there you go. It's a 25 mil shaft, and the bushings are about two mil thick. So 25, 7, 9, I'll say 30 millimeters. A bit hard to see without my glasses. That's that's 30. Yeah, I'm only going to end up with about. Um, five or six millimetres of, of material, about six millimetres of material above the um, 
the bushing. I don't like that, so I'll build this up. I'll make that's that's the uh, pattern. I'll make another block on the top of this and um, uh, pin it in with two nails. Cut the corners out. Chamfer all the edges, and um, this will be a split pattern. Yeah, that's tomorrow's job. So actually, out of the five castings, there's really only one that um, that I'll be doing, and I really don't have to do that. So uh, what looked like a disaster wasn't a total disaster. Got a fair bit of cleaning up to do, but um, most of it, except for well, all of, it, all of it, except for this inside angle, is uh, easily uh, cleaned up. Um, and I have to clean that inside angle because that, that inside angle sits over the, um, uh, the work table um, way. It sits over like that. So I do have to, mach I do have to clean this out. Another job for a milling machine, which I haven't got. All right, that's the tech. plan of attack is to um, build up, build up this pattern, make it look pretty, and uh, make it a two-piece, two-piece pattern, and um, yeah, recast it. Good idea. See you later.